love them all on this because this is it. Financial freedom. Freedom in general. I want to do what I want when I want. I want to be healthy. I want to be able to accomplish something great. I want to be around people I love and, and like and respect. Contribute to society, having energy, adventure, passion. This is everything that people answer when they say, oh, I want to be happy. Well, there's a lot of scientist studies have been done that you really can group these three things into three categories. So the main basic principles of all these, the happiest people, some of the happiest people in the world, according to studies and what people say and how they talk about themselves. Number one, happiest people. There's a, something with creation. She just talked about her grandchildren, having children in general. I created this. This is mine. You know, I put this puzzle together. You know, I, I built that swimming pool. I fixed that. I created this thing. Community. She hit it right there. It's the second thing. Community. I love being around people who are like-minded. I love being able to affect others, and they're able to teach me. That's what this whole thing's about. You know, you think of Facebook, you think of Twitter, you think of Instagram. What are you doing? You're actually joining a community. You want people to see what you're doing. You want them to realize what your life's all about. And man, I'm going to take a picture of me in front of a truck, post it, and I'm going to be pissed off if nobody likes it, right? I want to be a part of my community. I want them to see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's weird, right? Isn't that messed up? And ownership. It's the third thing that all those other ones can be a Grouped into ownership. Really, this is my house. You know, I own this. This is my life. This is my time. That is my chocolate milk in the refrigerator. Do not touch my chocolate milk. That's mine. That's, that's something about it. All right? Ownership. You have, when you have ownership of your life, if you are doing something that's really for you and for the people you love, it's yours. But the fourth thing, and then... This doesn't say it in the statistics and all that. But I believe the fourth and probably the most important thing to the happiest people on earth is clarity. You know, everything I do, I know it has to go back to that question. How do I want to be remembered? So I want to be, I want to be a happy person. I want, them to res I want to be the person they looked upon as, this guy never gave up. This guy, when I'm gone, I want them to say, man, this guy put it all on the line for what he loved. He was successful. He was wealthy. But people loved him. People showed up to his funeral. I want them to say that. You want to be looked upon as lazy. You don't care about your job. And you, you, you really, you know, apathetic to everything in society. Or are you the type of person that you want to be looked upon as, I want to be like that person. Here's a little bit about me. <laughs> I want to give you a backstory. This is the house I was born in right here. I wanted to, my mom and dad are here, so I, I'm surprising them with this picture. But I was born in this picture, and it's in Sher Sheridan, uh, pretty much 15 minutes from here. If you guys are familiar with Sheridan, it's not considered a really good area. And I'm going to show you this because I think it really has nothing to do where you're born or you know, how much money you're born into or anything. I think it has to do with the values that are instilled in you to use it for the good in this world. This house on Zillow just sold for $1,000. $1,000. That's what type of area this is in. When we got out of there in 1990 and moved to the North Hills, and we're, I'm thankful that my parents were able to get me into a place that had a great community. But, you know, people always say, man, if you're going to get into business, you better be born in the wealth. You better have connections. You better have resources. That's not true, right? Some of the most successful people out there are self-made. And it comes down to this chip on their shoulder. You know, I, may, I might be born with not many resources, but I'm going to die with a lot. 